joining me today is a doyen of Indian law and one of India's finest legal minds, Shanti Bhushan. Thank you very much, sir, for talking to us here on Bloomberg TV. <laughs> sir, my first question to you, how would you describe the current state of the nation? Well, the state of the nation is quite miserable. There is hardly any governance. The governance is directed as corruption. How to mint money, how to accumulate money for the main political parties and to try to win the elections by the use of the money and liquor, etc. That's the state of the nation. Nobody is thinking what were the objectives of the establishment of a republic. A republic was established to vest sovereignty in the people of this country. I don't say that industry should not be there. Industry and business have to be there because they create employment, but they have to be honest business, not crony capitalism. And businessmen want to run their business honestly, most of them, barring a few, but the state does not permit them to run the business on honest lines because it wants its share of corrupt money from every business to that. That's the state of the nation. Sir, today there seems to be in the business community uh, a total lack of confidence, so to speak. The economy is only decelerating by the day. Uh, businessmen seem to be really demoralized, so to speak. You've, you've represented so many such cases in the past as well. How would you explain that? Would you say that there is an institutional overreach, an executive failure? How would you describe the current situation? There is a total lack of decision making at the central level. Nobody is prepared to take a decision. Why? Because the politicians want that all their corrupt decisions should not be caught at their level. They would like to tell the bureaucrat what note to put up so that they have merely to approve the note. And if at some stage it is found that it was a corrupt deal, well, they will escape. The bureaucrat, his neck would be in, in there. The bureaucrats today are refusing to toe that line. They say, if you have to take a decision, we have to carry out your decision. But you take your decision on the file and we will implement it. But the politician doesn't want that. That is why there is total lack of policy paralysis today.